The aim of correct dressing is to achieve balance and proportion. We have identified the body types. Let's then look at what outfits best suits each body sizes. Gabby, right, so if you're like number one. Okay, yes, of course. <laughs> Um, I like the fact that you mentioned balance and proportion. Yeah. I'm going to agree with you on that. So I'll start off first with um, the first body type right here. And the first body type is um, the pear or triangle shape. Now for this body shape, we have to create a visual balance between your narrow upper body and your wider lower body. Hmm. And this can be achieved by drawing attention to the upper body or emphasizing the upper body. So what you can do in cases like this, mm. if that's your body type, wear off shoulder styles mm. and boot necks. Mm. So that way is more or less like you are sort of drawing more attention to the upper body. Yeah. Because you know the way this um, pair or triangle body shape is, is you find that the bottom part of the body is more smaller. Full. No, the bottom mm. is fuller while the, the top is smaller is less full. okay the yeah yeah sorry yeah. i don't know so, what i'm thinking about that the <laughs> bottom is fuller why the, the top is, is yeah yeah yet. so the purpose now in the dressing is to accentuate the, the top okay make yeah. it more obvious yes highlight the top so yeah wear things like off shoulder necks mm. off shoulder styles it makes your your neck or your shoulder region bold broader. yeah exactly wear bold necks yeah then the off shoulder style is suitable um and it's a glamorous style for the pair body shape of course now the flutter sleeves also look good as they add to the shoulders mm, so yeah. you know all this big and bold yeah sleeves. like like this this design you're yes, having here as well things. yeah so some of these things are not just designs to make the outfit look nice it's they for also the body help. Yes, yes it's for the body yeah so they have their own purpose so avoid light colored fabrics for bottom wear Mm. Because when you wear something that's light colored, it draws more attention to that part. Down, of the body. yes. So, what you want to do for a pear body shape while, while dressing up is to attract more attention to the top, top part yeah. of your body. So, don't wear light colored fabrics for the bottom. Mm -hmm. Bright colored fabrics with bold prints can be chosen for tops. tops yeah. And dark colored fabric is appropriate for bottom wear for this body type. Yeah. So, you wear something really flashy as a blouse, as a lady, mm -hmm. and then you now have. You know dark colored pants yeah okay. yeah okay and um so if you're using a light colored top wear and um, use a dark pants or skirt i already said that yeah. then stripes or print on the upper body and um a darker plain pant work well for this body type oh, so yeah. i think there's also something about patterns stripes or prints yes it, yes it pops when yes. you're doing it with a plain yes you know dark color yeah so i think that helps to highlight the top part of the body yeah. and then also i move on to the next one dresses should be well fitted at the waist as this small figure has a small waist and you need to emphasize this to your advantage yeah. also make sure to go for straight cuts and boot cut styles when it comes to jeans, jeans. right so how do you like your jeans for me um for the longest time i'd always loved you know palazzo pants yeah <laughs> And if, if it was going to be jeans, if it's not palazzo, then you see me wanting to wear um, boyfriend jeans. Boyfriend jeans, yeah. exactly. So yeah. that's just me. You will never see me wear skinny jeans because mm. I feel there's no need. It doesn't work with my own body. You already got it. So exactly. why? <laughs> so at the end of the day, I still feel in as much as I'm an hourglass shape, mm. there's still I still sort of have broad broad shoulders. Yeah. You know, so as much as I, you know, I like to make sure that my hip area is more it rhymes with the yes you know so i i try to make it look fuller yeah. when i'm dressing so <laughs> i would definitely go for boyfriend jeans or palazzo pants okay number two will be how to dress an inverted triangle figure or half a shaped body size now if you fall under this category note that this body type has a higher or rather heavier upper body so you need to wear stuff that will make the body balanced to look balanced so a v-neck will go really well for this kind of people all right now this this body shape uh do not need to wear short tops instead they should choose tops that are long even till the hips which will elongate the body all right so wear jackets which are structured and fitted with one button this will define your shape and make you look slimmer also they can wear wrap tops which hugs the body and create curvy shape at the waist 
uh, because this actually suits the, the body shape properly. Now, dark colors have a slimming effect, as you know. So, so wear this color for the upper body garments. Flayed and pleated skirts are good choices for this figure type. But do avoid any embellishments or detailing near the waist. Never ever think of selecting a pattern which show, with shoulder parts. Like, avoid it totally. <laughs> it's a no-no for that body type. I completely agree with you. All right. And now we're moving to the third body type, you know, when it comes to talking about what should be appropriate for wearing. And um, we have the rectangular or athletic body type. Now, this body type or this body shape with no definition at the waistline has the shoulders and hips off about the same width. Mm. And um, the waist is only slightly smaller, mostly a straight up and down figure. So this is me just re-describing what this particular body shape actually looks yeah, like. Yeah, they have even said before. Exactly. So um, when choosing the dress or outfits for this body type, it's important to aim to create the impression of a waistline. Mm. You know, so um, it's more or less like having a box yeah, or, or yeah. maybe a rectangle now. Yes. And then you get to the middle and then you snatch it, snatch it a yeah, little bit. Yeah. So that sort of is like, that's the easiest way to create an hourglass. Right. All of yes. a sudden. Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's, you will reduce or you will need to reduce the boxiness of this particular figure by snatching it in the middle. Yeah, I like the your <laughs> Snatching it in the middle. So de to define the waist, always add belts to your tops or dresses. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing, for example, a dress that is free, yep. a free flow dress, just make sure you add a tiny belt or a bogus belt, whatever belt, do it, put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. So that way, if there's you know, some allowance in the dress at the top and at the bottom, the waist still looks smaller but at the end of the day. For like really fat people, like if mm. you're fat and you fall under this body type, it's not okay to use a tiny belt. You have to use a bigger belt because when you use a tiny belt, it disappears. Mm. What we see is like, mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> the most important thing, fat down, nothing let, in the <laughs> It's important that whatever you're using to create the impression of a waistline is mm. very visible yes. that's what makes it solid yeah. so at the end of the day also um the belts will help to define the waistline elasticized waistbands also do very well mm. in this particular situation so another thing that a person in this um who has this body type can do is wear both necks wear scoop necks mm. u necks and um, off shoulder necks lines they are also very suitable for this particular figure Avoid, please avoid oversized dresses mm. or any styles that will not give you any shape whatsoever unless they are belted at the waist. We've said that before. This is just for the purpose of emphasis. Yeah. And yes, skinny jeans is a good addition to the wardrobe of a rectangle body type. Okay, now that brings us to number four, how to dress an hourglass figure. This figure has a balanced figure, like you say, and can carry almost all styles. But a well-fitted style with soft flowing lines will suit this body type the best. Tops in light colors with darker belts work well in accentuating the waist. Now, avoid loose fitting dresses like loose tunics without any shape. Now, tops with empire line waist is a good choice, trust me. Shorts, skinny jeans, and mermaid skirts are very suitable looks for this figure. Realizing your body shape and what suits you best is actually very, very pertinent. At this point, we'll go for a breather. When we come back, the show continues. <laughs> 